I wrote this and I'm going to share it. <laughs> Suddenly the world seemed confronted with the pain and fear Daniel had lived with every day of his life. The face he showed the world, the composed smile, the affable nature had hidden a world of darkness. The confidence he walked around with was the vice grip of his psyche desperately holding together the fractured pieces of his heart. The smile, the optimistic adages he spouted and his gregarious nature were how he kept himself together with the chaos that he carried within. As he tried to show the outside world how they could help heal the wounds in themselves or in him. And yet when the world went into chaos and uncertainty, suddenly he felt clear. It's as if the virus that swept the nation swept through every fiber of his being. It cleared out all the pain, the black bile of toxicity and negativity. The darkness that depressed his soul seemed to be cleansed with the many deaths that suddenly flowed through the news. Being confronted with his mortality had energized his figure. Being forced to look at a life unlived, he felt emboldened to just be his damn fucking self. And yet, while people griped about not having toilet paper or how their creature comforts had failed them, he felt fine. It's as if shouldering the burdens of his ancestral pain that had given him super strength. As if living in a state of primal fear had upped his reaction time. Rather than running from Bill's, his pain, his broken heart, he was running to a brighter future. When she uttered the phrase, a man possessed of more gifts than he could hold, he felt as if he had a hand overflowing with jewels. What felt like tumors in his gut were actually precious stones yet to be cut and set. What had felt like weights on his soul shined with potent brilliance. The jagged shards of his heart that seemed to cut his insides had been washed smooth. They were now fit to become bedazzled endorments that, he hoped, would someday let people know the beauty of his life, the brilliance of his heart, and the durability of his spirit. I hope you enjoyed that.